Amen. Well, praise the Lord. How's everybody doing? God is good. All the time. And all the time, God is good. Yes. Have you been good to you this week? Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He can't get better, but he's just good. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's good every day. Yes, we used to get beat for saying that word in school, good and worse, son. Praise God. But he's just good. I mean, you know, he has done so much, praise God, for us. Amen. And everybody should have a testimony. Come on now. And I don't know what happened to you, sister, testimony. I ain't going to get I'm not going to get on you. Praise God. Holly, that's how you could have got back on my good side. <laughs> I always depended on you for a testimony. Praise God. But it's a blessing. It's a testimony just to be here. If you all knew everything that was going on, it's just a testimony to even be here tonight, praise God. Hallelujah, to be able to have service. See, this is my Super Bowl weekend, amen. Every Sunday is my Super Bowl. It's my championship, praise God. Me versus the devil, praise God. And I got Jesus on the inside, hallelujah. I'm on the winning team, praise God. So I get excited when it comes to this, praise God. I be, boy, on Sundays, I'm in a whole other world, praise God. Because I'm excited about sharing about the gospel. I'm excited about sharing Jesus with people that love Jesus. Come on now. I can't wait to get to the streets with the ones that don't know, praise God. But in the meantime, the Bible says that you're faithful over a few. He'll make you rulers over me, praise God. But you got to be faithful over a few things, praise God. Now, this is 2008. We're in November. How we got here so fast, I don't know. This thing started in March, and here we are in November, praise God. And the year is just about gone, and you got people that are still like, well, I guess I'll get it next year. Well, I'll do it next year. And then you've got the saints that do the New Year's resolution, amen. And then you got the ones that got to Ryan, 2009, that's mine, it's mine. 2009, the year is mine. And come on, but I've been hearing this ever since the 80s. Uh, 1988. It's going to be great. And the same people saying it's going to be great is going through right now. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's no superstition with God. God's word is for every day. It ain't just for a special time. But if you only take a special time to try to recognize, you didn't miss the whole thing. Praise God. You can't come late into the game with no understanding and expect to win. But it is 2008. It's almost gone. But the message is it's not too late for faith. It is still not too late to believe God. See, God comes on his time, not our time. Time is a servant unto the Lord, meaning he is above time. Time moves when he tells it to move. He can make time stand still. Been there before. Been there before. It's real. But you got to understand it's not too late for faith. We say God is good all the time, all the time, and God is good. We said all the time. So I don't care if it's December the 31st. At 11.58, God can come through in those last two minutes. It's not too late for faith. Whatever you've been believing God for, I don't care if it was in January, God said, I'll bless you with a house. It's still not too late to keep believing him for that house or that car or that spouse. Whatever it is, God is saying it's not too late for faith. Amen. Hallelujah. It's November. We're getting ready to come into Thanksgiving. Before you know it, Christmas will be here. They'll be singing New Year's Eve. But God can come through on New Year's Eve, praise God. Hallelujah, you got to believe God all the way till it manifests. Because see, he comes on his time, and his time is not our time. His ways are not our ways, and his thoughts are not our thoughts. Amen. But if God said it shall be, it shall be. Mm -hmm. You can take that to the bank. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. I've been standing on faith about a whole lot of things and got a whole lot of people lifted up. And the devil tried to shoot a torpedo under the radar with my mother the other day. Needs called me, they rushed her to the hospital. For at least five minutes, I was speechless and I was stunned. I couldn't call my wife. I was at the point I couldn't even call Jesus. Because I, I, it was so many things happening right at the same time. Brother got stabbed. Niece got operated on. Another niece got a problem. Okay, and, and at that moment, I was dealing with those issues. And here comes, boom. So I'm sitting there. I was speechless and thoughtless. And then a chat room popped up. 
Dad, how are you doing? What's going on? They rush mom to the hospital. Bam! I'm gonna get all the rest of the sisters. We finna pray and everything. Matter of fact, let me pray for you. Type in the prayer right then. And bam! Suddenly, I was like, oh, okay. But see, no matter what goes on, I always believe that God will come through on my behalf. When I am weak, He is strong. He will send somebody across your path when you can't do it. Yes, He will. Hallelujah. And then after she prayed, they prayed. Then I had some more prayer from other parts of the country. Then finally my wife and everything and I was restored and revived and renewed. And I said, wait a minute. We're shaking about something else. I said, no, no, no. Let me get, I'm on this wall like Nehemiah. Y'all, you need to read about Nehemiah. He stayed on the wall. His friends tried to get him to come out. Everybody tried to get him to come out. But he said, I'm going to stay here and build this wall for the Lord. Amen. That is the faith we have to have. We've got to have faith that we will not be shaken or moved. See, when you don't understand, be still. Amen. And wait on God. When that happened, I couldn't, I couldn't move. I'm sitting in the studio putting something, putting the, putting the radio thing in. I couldn't do nothing. And I just said, well, I just stood there. And then it came. See, when your faith is in God, you got to understand when you are in trouble, he's a present day help in the time of trouble. Amen. You got to read that word and get that word in you. He said, if your word, if my word is abiding you and you abide in me, whatever you ask, mm -hmm. God can read your thoughts. He can read your heart. He can read your spirit. He's a good God. Amen. That's what James Brown said. He's a good God. Hey, let's go to church, y'all. <laughs> hey, hey. All right. Go to Habakkuk, the second chapter. Praise God. Y'all may not know about that. But Habakkuk, the second chapter, two and four. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I never understood what he was saying at that particular time, but after he passed away, he was saying, let's go to church, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and was laughing. Praise God. Mm -hmm. In essence, you are the church. And the faith has to be in you. Hallelujah. Habakkuk. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. I don't care about Curry down there drinking, talking crazy. I got to live by faith. It doesn't matter if mama is not living by faith, I must live by faith. Because if I'm living by faith, then God said if his words abide in me and I abide in him, I can ask him to take care of mom. I couldn't get on a plane fast enough to get down there. And this is not the first time it happened. But I have learned to send the word. But I got caught off guard. But even though getting caught off guard, because of faith, God moved. Amen. See, so no matter what your brother's acting like, no matter how the preacher's acting, you have got to live by faith. If you want to, if you are just, you are required to live by faith. He did not ask you to live by faith. He said the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. Come on, that's the only way I know to live. I can't trust in myself. I be slipping and tripping too. You might need me and I might be up there watching cartoons and you can't get a hold of me. You better live by faith. <laughs> Lord, sit the Holy Ghost in there and get that boy out of the cartoon. Praise God. I got the 24-hour boomerang channel. <laughs> I can look at cartoons anytime. Praise God. You've got to live by faith. Now, you all are just. In essence, are you justified by God? Now, he was talking about this soul that was not upright. So he's letting you know that this soul wasn't upright. But you are supposed to live by faith. There is no excuse. You have to believe God. See, when you get caught up in faith, here's how faith will talk to you. Well, this may be looking bad to you, but you know what? God got something better. If, this, if God did not come on this behalf, that's because he had something better already stored up. But if you start wavering in your faith, you're going to miss you gonna miss that mansion. You're going to miss that new car. You're going to miss that husband. You're going to miss that wife. Because God said don't waver. And that's you can't believe him today and not believe.